these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl in two weeks' time, which will it be as we're underway in the NFC title game. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. going to look to throw right away. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. First carry for, and oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Ready? On first and ten, it's Algier. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. A play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. The contact on that run came pretty early. Nice job just to push forward and get some extra yardage. Good game. It certainly was because the initial contact did not signal the end of the play. His mind, his body, his legs said keep turning forward, and he gained more yardage. So first down, and they'll stick with Algier. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Ready. On second, here's Algier. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Algier with another carry. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tyler Algier, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have struck first in this NFC title game. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember, last drive they coughed it up, then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And down he goes. 
goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run with Harris. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It was Anthony Averett who got him down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. On second down, this is Harris. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Now that's a mound of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Smith on third down. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. This is Harris. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run again with Harris. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 43 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Justin Matabike there to bring him down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They'll try the air now with Smith. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. 6-0 our score after one. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are an extra point away from taking the lead.
And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> Third and goal here. A big play brewing in this NFC title game. Camara will score. Touchdown, New York. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Okay, ready? About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. And this will be a Falcons first down as good running gets them to about the 44. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll stick with Algier. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here we go. Here Officially we go. nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's caught left side to tight end Pitts. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Ritter on target to Pitts for a Falcon first down. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. On the double. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Algier now up the middle. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Black Ultra. In motion goes the tight end. Second and nine now. A complete to Drake London. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here we go, Pat. Pat. 
On the give, Algier headed left. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Ready. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Ready. Here's Algier again on second down. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Two knocks this one through the post. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up off to them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little bit, but they seem to have stayed the course and really righted the ship here in the second. Well, let's face it, all the preparation that goes into getting ready for a game, all the scouting reports, the practice, the repetition, sometimes you get a little bit of a lull to start things off. Maybe you get a little flat, but if you put in that time, you put in that effort, it can come back to you, and that's what we're seeing so far. Now can they keep that momentum going? Throwing again on second down. Smith. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Smith. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. He'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Falcon football. Ready. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. 
And it's second down. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll set up to throw. Dumps this one off to Algier. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second and 14. Back to throw again. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Let's go. An incomplete pass on that last play, Go and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. You tell it. Black shot. They'll look to throw again. Looking deep for Adams. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This officially a 55-yard attempt, and he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down, and that will push the lead up to 12-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Complete pass. Here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Smith. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. 
And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. to throw Smith he's going to take another shot here and he fires one that's intercepted picked up by A.J. Terrell and the Giants are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38 yard line so the holding call on the offense so they go ahead and decline that one and take possession of the football on the INT Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Ultra, ultra. Catch that. Hey. He'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. championship as we'll head down to Orlando that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report coach and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis operating Gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter Gano out to kick this one away This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation of kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree, because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game. Go there he goes, right side. Touchdown, Falcons. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in the big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. This time, the extra point up and good, and it gives his guys a 12 point advantage. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing. Because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Great 
Grady Jarrett busting through to get him for a loss of six. What a quick start to the drive, but not for the team that really needed it. In only a few seconds, the opposing QB found himself on the turf, and the defense is celebrating second and long. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. First down throw, it's Smith. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack, down he goes. Another try after the first down sack. Smith, under pressure, they got him again. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. That's caught over the middle by Fan. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 45-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. To throw again on second down. Smith, this one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 31-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To the air again, Smith. This is the tight end fan. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Harris running straight ahead. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons' 23. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do.
fourth. Smith. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. Noah Fan. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Algier again on second down. They find some open field here. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Ready? Algier going straight ahead. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Ultra! Go ultra! Ready? They'll run for it with Algier. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that'll push the lead up to eight. Well, from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. On first down, it's Smith. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Second and two. Now it's Smith. Harris has it over the middle. Seven yards there and a first down. So that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On first down, Smith. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Falcons will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. And when I looked at it, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. Aziz Ojolari there on the tackle. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here we go. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. 10 cycles. Algier will try to pick it up. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. a shot here but to no avail and this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Booked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Falcons are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. The green, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. First down, and they'll start with Algier. Big winner Williams there on the stop. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Algier again on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Heavy set out there on third and one. It's a quarterback sneak. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. That penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Smith on first down. Pass is caught by Wondell Robinson. It's a big time play there for the G-Man. 42 yards. First down carry for Harris. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close. Sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Second and goal from the one. They'll try and run with Harris. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. 
call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. So it's third and goal, and now the question, can this Falcon defense stand tall once more? They'll run it with Kamara, and he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a touchdown, and now a two-point conversion, and we'll be tied here in the final minute. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. They're not home yet. They still need the two-point conversion to keep their Super Bowl dreams alive. Smith now to throw. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board, but job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. out there for their next drive. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Adams the man in motion right. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's going to let it go again. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And the Giants are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth. Take some I, gambles. I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Complete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions.
Smith. He's going to wind up and air it out. He's got a man complete. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize on it and take it away from them. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Catch our breath. Here's first and ten just outside the red zone. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. And now time for one final play that has to be obviously in the end zone. Can't wait to see what they call, but you want to get it to your best player. Sometimes you have to do it by formation. Move everyone to one side, and maybe he gets a one-on-one -on -one isolated on the backside. Receiver in motion left. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. And they get to hoist the Hallis Trophy. Unbelievable victory. Moving on to the Super Bowl. I only hope that these players understand exactly who is behind that trophy. George S. Hallis, one of the creators of this great game of football of ours and creator of the NFL. What an amazing feeling and an amazing accomplishment.